Hello, 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 wherever you are on this fascinating planet called Earth, I hope you are having a enjoyable day, evening, or night, wherever you happen to be located on our glorious planet. Welcome to the channel. Just by looking at it, you know what I'm talking about. One of the world's greatest studio applications in Blender. And to be exact, I'm using Blender 2.82a. This version of Blender's, unlike poor Windows users, comes naturally on my Linux distribution. Or if you if it if it's on your Linux distribution, you know it probably take about six months for the update to the new one. I have 2.83.3 long term release, but I'm just happy to be using the one that's native to my Blender because it seems far more stable. It don't pop off and dis you know dis it just don't cut off like the ones that I download may do occasionally. Today I'm gonna be talking about the compositor. And I'm going to be talking about, if I can do it rightly, the crop node. As you can see, for me, I like to try to model something for you all. It's a cheap, low poly knife, according to my wife. She said, it's a wife, a knife. I said, okay, it's nice and low poly. I like to do these type of things to show the people when I'm making a video that I do have some skill at using Blender. I can make it look more realistic if I wanted to, but I don't like realistic with Blender, I'm a low poly person. I like low poly art. I'm not up until making things look like they look in the real world. I can do it but I don't like putting all the effort into it. So I like low poly. If you can make it in low poly, I guarantee you you can make it in high poly if you're just putting forth the effort. But anyway, let's go into the compositor. Let's use, click on use nodes. I like to spread my composite window and my render layer windows to the far left and far right to give myself more space to work with. When you're working with um, nodes, whether it's shaders, materials, whatever, you know we standardly love to use that uh, viewer node so we can get immediate feedback or you can open up another window, but I don't. I just, I just use the real node. You can open up another window where you can composite it. But to me, right now, since I'm still new to compositing world, I just open up another window. All right, I like to use the reroute node to make it look a little bit more tidy for my eyes. I'll put it right here and connect it here. An important thing is you have to render it to see something. Render the image, it popped up, and there it is. The most important thing when you see this to make it smaller, you have to hit that control V key. All right, that's, and then you can click on the viewer to get those handles where you can make other little fine tune adjustments. Okay, that looks good. My little low poly knife that looks good. Now, here come a moment of truth. It gave me some trouble earlier when I was using it. I had to tinker around with it. The crop node is not easy and straightforward like the other nodes. So you have to go to add or you can sh hit shift A. Go to distort. Then I choose crop. I'm just going to add it right to my, uh, to the viewer. I could put it up here. It don't matter. And that one was giving me trouble earlier. I said, my Lord, my God, what's going on? I don't see nothing. Because right now, at the stage of the game where I'm at with the compositor, I usually always see something. I had to tinker around with this, which is a negative, to try to see something. So I'm going to tinker around with it right now. Let's see if it works. Okay, good. You see something? A window's opening. Something's opening. All right. Let me try to go up and see what happens. I'm going up. Okay, there is, we see something. There we go. So, remember, with the comp, with this node, you may have to tinker with this thing. I'm going to go up some more. Right, that's to the right. Let me go to the right as far as possible. So, I can get all my little cheap little poly. Okay, that's good. 
And let me go up some more. I know I'm gonna have to go left. Go to the left some. Is that it? yeah? That's basically it. See, that's the way I had it. Let me see. Oh. Let me see if I click on my ruin node. Can I move it that way? Okay, good. So it's still following the ruin node. All right. As you all just down saw, for the most part, what I discovered earlier. This crop node don't need the viewer node that much. Not much. Because you remember, when I was adjusting it, another window popped open. Alright, so let's see how the crop node works. Now I got a better view. I'm going to bring it down some. I'm, I'm going to hit on left and close it. And we see how it's cropping it. That's it. Now, the thing I like to prove, because, uh, these nodes are non-destructive. Right now, it looks like I cut my knife in half. But let's go back to the layout view. And that's what I like about it. See, it's non-destructive. Let's go back to uh, compositing. You see, it, it destroyed that. And I also, while I was playing around, I discovered something earlier too, my good people. That I can use uh, a keyframes on this. Now. I'm going to tell you the benefit of using this. We already saw, looking at this, it's non-destructive. I did not have to touch my mesh in any way. I didn't have to touch it. Now, if I was in a 3D view, I could make my camera mimic cutting it like this. By making my camera move to the left or right. But, by making my camera move to the left or right, I'm affecting my scene and my camera location. Right here... And this crop thing, I don't have to worry about my camera at all. I don't. Right here, if I was using my camera, I probably would make my camera go left and right, which is affecting the scene. And I probably had to fine tune my camera too. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna bring it down. So I'm going up now. I'm bringing it down. You see, it cuts it off. And I'm gonna show you the beauty of using this with the keyframes. Remember, I don't have to mess with my camera. I don't have to touch my mesh in any way. I'm going to use a keyframe on the up part. I'm going to hit I for keyframe. So, I hope it's right down here. Thank you, thank you. I hit I. I'm going to make it go to uh, 100. Hit 100. Then I'm going to hit another keyframe. Ah. Now, I'm going to step away for a moment, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm going to render this, then I'm going to show you all my render. So I'll be back in several moments after I have rendered this. All right, I'll see you all in a little bit. Welcome back. Here is... The rendered video rendition of that um, clip I just down showed you in Blender Compositor. So I'm gonna start it. Here we go. It's only ten. It's only ten frames, so it's not gonna take a long time. But it's demonstrating the uh, how the crop tool or the crop node work. It's non-destructive. Let me start it now. Here we go. That's it, only 100 frames. But we saw how elegant and how beautiful it was. It was quick and fast. No manipulating stuff. No having to touch uh, blender, manipulating the screen or the camera. So the no that crop thing is powerful, especially when you want to have a scene and an animation. Well, you know, you can switch between the scenes real quick, fast. You can use that as a scene switch or to eliminate your part of your scene real quick. Now, now, here's the only thing that you may have to be wary of. To get my crop to work, I had to click on this button up here where it say, uh, crop image size. You and the but even when I clicked off of it, so you see, look at it, it's adjusting itself. 
clock image size. All right, sorry about that. I'm in the car doing Uber Eats. Damn. All right, so when I clicked on that crop thing, so it's not working now. So let me take, let me click it off of it. Is it on? Yeah. Oh, I have to like highlight the crop menu. See, that's what. Remember, the crop box has to be highlighted. So I clicked off of a uh, crop image size. But if it don't work, click on crop image size. If you like the video on how to use that powerful crop tool, give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments to add about the compositor, the stored crop node, leave a comment. If you would like to subscribe and hear me further talk about the compositor and other topics in Blender, I welcome you to the scribe. Until the next time, dear listener, peace.